Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This is the review of the Little Pilot goggles. Now I've been using these to learn FPV, so let me show you them. I'm going to show you some close-up pictures. That's the screen, so you can use this to be able to let spectators see what the goggles, what you're seeing. Um, it simply then slots in to the holder, which is here. So you take, it's quite uh, tight to put in, so I don't want to try and push it in, but on film. So it slides into there, and there you go. It's very simple. It's got a power supply at the top. I'll go through this on a picture. You've got your on-off switch, and you've got your servo uh, connector there for your recording, when you, if you're using a DVR. Then... On this side, we just have a joystick, so we can control the menus. I'm not going to go through the menus, they're quite simple. It's got auto-tune, which is not a good idea because it doesn't always match up perfectly. So I, I do this manual. But this is just a review to let me give you my thoughts of this goggle. I think actually it's, it's, it's brilliant for the price. Um, I, okay, I can't compare them to any other goggles because I've never used Fat Sharks and I've never used any other goggles. So I am a newbie and so my opinion is just going to be because I've only used these. But I think they are great. They uh, do the job. They're nice and bright. Even though the obviously the sunlight with normal goggles, you are uh, there's no light coming in. With these, it, it doesn't really matter that it's coming out from the outside. I don't find that distracting. And you can see the image clear. You'll see there's a mirror. It works on a mirror system. I think you can see that. So your screen is in there. It reflects and then back from here. And this is what you look at. I wear glasses and they work well with glasses. I can uh, see the image clearly. You can see it comes with, uh, I think it's called just a normal um, a straightforward antenna. But I've put a uh, Team Black Sheep a patch on there patch antenna and it came with this circular one so I, I've kept that I'm using both of those and the range seems to be very good uh, you may have seen the videos I've uh, shown of me flying the Samer quad and the um, range is quite good and I was running the uh, VTX at 25 uh, milliwatts and I've now increased that to 50 so today I'm going to go and try that okay what I've done with my little pilot goggles, is I've done a video on this. I put my DVR there. So I just use some double-sided tape to tape it on. And then you can see some double-sided tape there. Now this is for my battery to power the DVR. So I just slide that in and clip it on. And there we go. And what I did, and it actually balances out quite nicely. My battery, which plugs in with this lead here, I, and it goes into the top of your goggles here. What I've done, I've put some sticky Velcro onto the battery and sewed, as I'm a bit of a dab hand with a sewing machine, I sewed on Velcro here. So all I have to do is just position that like that. And it actually works out quite nicely. Um, you've got the weight of this pulling the goggles back onto your, your head properly and it's actually quite comfortable. Right, okay. I'm going to switch over to the pictures now so that I can point out where, what's what on the actual uh, screen so that you know where to plug everything in. And then I will s switch over to some footage I recorded. What I did, I set my camera up and recorded the screen to show you what the image is like as, as if you were looking with your eyes. Obviously. Um, that's going to be adjusted by YouTube when I upload it. But I think the image quality is very good. Let's take a look at the goggles more closely. You can see we've got diversity because we can have a circular polarised antenna and a patch antenna. And I bought a Team Black Sheep one for my goggles. There was just a normal straight dipole, I think it's called. This is where we plug in our DVR. Now, 
done a video about this about the wiring so if you want to find out how to do that because there is a little idiosyncrasy about this but that's in my video I'll put a link in the description below there's the power button and that's where you plug your goggles in and you can see it attaches to here and there's the velcro that I've got on my goggles so that I could just attach the battery to the back and you can see my uh, two cell battery in place so that I can plug the balance lead into my DVR so that I can record. I won't go into the DVR because there is a video already about that. Down here is where you have the joystick where you can control the menus. And the menus are very simple. There's nothing more complex. You can change the uh, brightness of the screen and you can change which channel you're looking at. And you can do auto scan, but that's not a good idea. It's better to program in the actual frequency. And on the goggles, you can use the joystick to choose whether you want to view the FPV footage that you've recorded or the, the live feed coming from your quads camera. Let's move on to the next picture. And here, it's just a close up of the back of the goggles on the strap where I have sewn some Velcro. You could do that by hand. I use the sew machine and then you'll see the sticky back plastic on the battery, stuck to the battery so that I can attach it to the goggles. Let's take a look at the footage I recorded of this screen. Now this was recorded outside in, in the shade on my veranda of my house. Um, but there's plenty of light coming around the screen. So you can see how quite bright it is. And I've deliberately darted in and out of the shadows in, into the sun and into the shadows. So you can see the contrast. And I, th I think it works really well. I'd like to hear from you in the comment section what you think. As I earlier said, this is the first set of goggles I've ever used, but uh, please let me know in the comments what you think about the performance of this uh, screen. I'm sure your camera would make quite a difference to the video. Uh, this is a fairly cheap camera that I'm using. Just for reference, you're hearing the sound, obviously because my camera is picking up the sound as the quad flies past. But my DVR that I use, my Ishin one, doesn't record sound and you get awful buzzing noise. So when I produce my videos, I obviously turn off the sound. In summary, I think these are a great budget goggle. I've been very pleased with them, but as I said earlier, these are the only goggles I've ever used, so I can't compare them. But would I recommend them to a new person who wants to test out whether they want to be uh, or participate in FPV? Then I'd say yes, because you're not spending, in, in, in rands in, the, in South Africa, we'd spend over 10,000 rand on a pair of fat sharks, or a set of uh, fat shark goggles. But these, I purchased these for 1,200. I think they're about 1,400 Rand now. Um, and they're slightly different design. I actually quite like the sleek design the new ones are. But basically they're the same. It's the same screen uh, that you would be looking at. So I'll give it a thumbs up. I think it's uh, well worth it. If you want to give FPV a, a try and haven't got a huge budget, this is, these are the way to go.
Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments please leave them in the comments section below and if you have any questions about the goggles then uh, leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer them for you. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now, bye bye, bye.